emotional couple of days for the world of football and all those involved with Leeds United. The death of former White Star Gary Speed over the weekend has put sport into perspective and our thoughts and prayers continue to be with the family and friends of the title winning number 11. But now we must focus on this game at the city ground with Leeds boss Simon Grayson making two changes to his starting lineup. Michael Brown comes in for Ross McCormack and Danny Pugh comes into the side for Lloyd Sam. It means Leeds will now line up with Alex McCarthy in goal. A back four of Paul Connolly, Patrick Kisnorbo, Tom Lees and Aidan White in midfield. Reverse to the old system from last season, you could say. Robert Snodgrass, Adam Clayton, Michael Brown and Danny Pugh with Johnny Housen in the advanced role. Luciano Vecchio up front. This game, a big game for both of these sides as Leeds in fifth looks to continue the chase at the top end of the table, whereas Nottingham Forest unexpectedly looking to climb away from the bottom. Here's Aidan White making an early burst into the area, across the base, and a very early opportunity for Robert Snodgrass on his favoured left foot, which he drills over the crossbar. Good flick on by Vecchio to find Housen. Still Johnny Housen, left footed strike. Into the clutches of Lee Camp. 312 appearances for Leeds and 57 goals. He was the first player to reach 500 Premier League appearances and the most capped outfield player for Wales with 85 caps. Back to Snodgrass. Oh, lots of space here for Michael Brown. Will he have a strike? He will. Stings the palms of Camp. Found himself in acres of space there, did Michael Brown. This is stolen here. Robert Snodgrass with the strike. Robert Snodgrass with the goal. And Leeds are in front at the city ground. He scored two in the Whites' last away game at Burnley. And he's got his first of the evening here. 19 minutes played, and Robert Snodgrass puts Leeds United 1 0 up against Nottingham Forest. A cracking effort with his left foot on a night where we're remembering one of the best players. With a left foot to play for Leeds United. Reed to put the corner kick in. Left footed. Keeper's not come for it. Nelson gets something on that. And Clayton. Looking for a run of Snodgrass. It's a great run by Snodgrass and it's a great ball by Clayton. It's followed by Robert Snodgrass. Camp's made the error. Snodgrass can't finish it. It's deflected off Wes Morgan. A golden opportunity for Robert Snodgrass to get his second of the game. In comes the ball. Claims for a push there on Marcus Tudgai. There's Norbo who comes out on top this time. Brown's header and Lynch deals with that. In respect of finding the fullback Cunningham. Robert Snodgrass has taken it from Cunningham. He's got around him as well and into the area. Snodgrass pulls it back for Housen. 
It should be another goal for Leeds. Snodgrass and Housen's got space ahead of him. Housen with the strike, what a goal! What a goal, Johnny Housen! Absolutely fantastic. A Leeds fan, a young man who grew up watching Gary Speed, has scored a goal that Gary Speed would certainly be proud of. Absolutely outstanding, Johnny Housen. Becchio. Down to White. Oh, White's got a turn of pace there on Chambers. Still Aidan White, but coming back to cover was Anderson. He had to come back and cover because White did Chambers there, for want of a better phrase. Swinging it in, header from Becchio, 3-0! And what a start to the second half! Simon Grayson punches the air right in front of those Leeds fans. Luciano Becchio manages to get on the score sheet for just the second time this season. And that is exactly what Simon Grayson wanted his side to come out and do in this second half. On the front foot, and go out and punish this Nottingham Forest side. And was that 23,000, I think? By the way, 3,597 of those are Leeds fans. Comes in here. Chips across the face and Miller. Can only find the chest. Of Alex McCarthy, he should have done better. Look at that, Aidan White getting all the way back. Pugh, oh, and Pugh's caught late there by Andy Reid. Leeds aren't happy with that at all. Referee will be brandishing a card here. Pretty sure it will be the colour of yellow. That was a little bit late by Reid, though, on Danny Pugh. He just had to get rid of it first time, giving away. Still Johnny Housen here, this is fantastic, Johnny Housen! Fumbled, there's still Leeds players around it, Clayton! Adam Clayton makes it 4-0 to Leeds. And I was saying they look rampant. Adam Clayton's fifth goal of the season will surely Surely secure the points for Simon Grayson's side. Corner kick in. Lees is the man underneath it. Two Lees players chasing it, but in the end, not quick enough to get there. Head of Moosey. Lynch miscontrols it. Comes in though, and well, that nearly snuck in. Luciano Becchio will come off the field of play, conserve some energy for the weekend, having got his second goal of the season in front of those travelling Leeds fans. Ross McCormack will replace him, and also coming off for Leeds, Adam Clayton will be coming off for Andy Keogh. Anderson was looking for the goal, but Leeds steal it. Here's Aidan White now, bursting forward. Oh, and he's taken down there. And Andy Reid has been sent off. It's his second bookable offence. He picked up a yellow earlier on. And that's his second.
Camp's long ball is brought down by Miller and Leeds come forward now. Robert Snodgrass, he's got McCormack ahead of him, plays it through for the onside, McCormack! Scuffed his shot, he's always going wide. Moosey just plays it square for McGoldrick. Forcing the save from McCarthy. Here it comes. Oh, Brown doesn't deal with that one, and neither does Nunes. There's a slip there, though. Kind of sums up the night for Nottingham Forest. Here's Andy Keogh. It's three against three. Keogh has Nunes and McCormack with him. He finds the Honduran. Onto his left foot to McCormack with the strike. Wide of the uprights. He wanted it earlier, did McCormack. But Nunes' touch and slip prevented him from doing that. Still Nunes, and that's towards his own goal, and losing the ball there, Ramon Nunes. This is now Ishmael Miller, running at Kisnorbo. He'll have pace over Kisnorbo, but he gets in a great tackle there, does the Australian. Miller stayed down. This is McGoldrick. Anderson. And kicks it out. To guys the man under that. He wins the flick on, but nobody behind him. And there's the full-time whistle. Many tributes have been paid over the last 48 hours to Leeds United legend Gary Speed as a man, but as a footballer. This is the most fitting tribute Leeds could have paid to him. An emphatic 4-0 victory. The travelling fans were outstanding. The 11 players on the field were brilliant, and the result is fantastic.